Mike Dell's World, number 143, for December 3rd, 2009. As a kid I had two special days, nothing much in between. Christmas and my birthday, maybe Halloween. But we could use some joy every day of every year. So let's find a special time right now and right here. There are days for veterans and old lang syne, days for groundhogs and valentines, mothers and fathers and April fools, first day of spring, the last day of school, birthdays for George and Abraham, Dr. King and Uncle Sam, there's always something to celebrate on each and every date, happy new day, happy new day, sing and dance day. And get down with the day of the dead Or fell away for Bastille Day Where the royals lost their heads Is it New Orleans for Mardi Gras Or to Poland for Punchki Day I sure get off on being in Brazil On the ninth of May Happy New Day Happy New Day of Monday, the beauty of Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, hump day, coming not a moment too soon, Thursday eve, I do believe I've got Friday on my mind, it's alright to fight on a Saturday night, but Sunday, oh never on Sunday, suddenly it's a brand new week. Same old, same old, but each one unique Intrigue, adventure, and mystery We throw the dice, then we wait and see If we're forward or sideways or upside down Long as this world keeps spinning around There's always something to celebrate on each and every date Happy New Day Happy New Day This podcast is part of the Blueberry Network. Find freshly picked podcasts just for you at Blueberry.com. That's Blueberry, no ease, dot com. And good, uh, good uh, day. Happy New Day, as, uh, as the song said. <laughs> That's the Yellow Room Gang. They uh, did that Happy New Day on uh, their CD called uh, Happy New Day. So that's the title track. Uh, they're a local Michigan band, group, or ensemble, I guess. I don't know. There must be uh, 15 of them, and uh, they play all different kinds of, of music, uh, mostly folky and cheesy like, like that song. But uh, <laughs> anyway, Happy New Month also. This is the first podcast that I've done in December. It's December 3rd here, and it also happens to be the first day that uh, Traverse City has gotten snow. 
which is really odd. I mean, well, we had, you know, like some flakes of snow, I think in, well, actually in August, we, late August, we had a little bit of snow and nothing that stuck to the ground, but you know, some that were falling. But today is the first official snow of the 2009, 2010 winter season because, uh, the grass is covered. So it's, uh, this is official December 3rd, 2009 was the first snow. <laughs> Of course, a week ago, Friday, uh, a week ago, well, not quite a week ago, but fr- last Friday, this, is, this being Thursday, by the way, I was down in uh, Harrietta, Michigan. I got some pictures. I, I should share the pictures, but it's down there at the uh, uh, local NBC affiliates transmitter site uh, with a friend of mine who uh, works for them. And we got a ham radio repeater there and had to go work on that a little bit and uh, go scope out some of the stuff and got a picture of the transmitter that was on top of the World Trade Center and uh, got replaced by WNBC there in New York. And the old transmitter got shipped up here to... uh, be the transmitter for channel seven analog. This is, you know, obviously long before the uh, switch to digital, but, uh, so I got a picture of that transmitter. That, uh, transmitter was gone about a year before the, uh, tragedy at, or tragedy, the terrorist attacks on nine 11. So, Hey, sorry for the, uh, Oh boy, I got all kinds of noise going on here, but sorry for the, <laughs> furnace noise. Uh, we need the furnace here. It's uh, it's too cold to not have one. Uh, let's see. Hey, let's get a little business out of the way. Uh, I want to talk about our sponsor. I want to take a moment to tell you about some of the very cool features in GoToMeeting. Uh, you can start meetings with one click. Uh, GoToMeeting is available on the Macintosh, which not you know not all the competitors are. And you can start a meeting from a Mac to a PC. You can start a meeting from a PC to a Mac. You can go PC to PC. You can go Mac to Mac. It works in all different directions. You can instantly change presenters presenters from you to, to whoever else. So if you've got five people on the meeting, each one of the five of you can show your desktop and show things on the screen and uh, switch at will. It's... it's It's really cool. I used it this morning. Uh, I'm collaborating with a uh, colleague in Florida, and uh, he always tells me how nice it is down there. Kind of ticks me off uh, (laughs) weather-wise. But anyway, I just collaborated this morning. Uh, We're doing a a large web project for a national food service company, and uh, we collaborate every Tuesday and Thursday morning uh, using GoToMeeting. Because uh, he starts at one end of the project, I start at the at the other, and we meet in the middle. And go to meeting has just been a great thing for that. Uh, like I said, use it uh, twice a week minimum. Uh, you can also do chat. Uh, the screen resolution is true, or resolution of the screen colors is true twenty four bit color. Uh, you can record and play back your sessions if you so choose. It automatically in, integrates with Microsoft Outlook, and that that's a really cool thing too. You set up a, a recurring appointment like we have uh, with my colleague down there in Florida, and you know every Tuesday at seven twenty-five it pops up and says on my Outlook at work it says, "Hey, you got a, a go to meeting session with uh, with uh, so and so down in Florida." Click here, you click there, and brings up the GoToMeeting software, and yeah, all of a sudden, psh, there we are, and it, it works really good. It's got a real cool drawing tool too, if you want to, you know, like kind of a whiteboard sort of thing. And you know, the price includes phone conferencing and Voice over IP. We use Voice over IP. We've got a yeah, he's got a, a USB mic. I've got a USB mic and headset. It works absolutely perfect for that. So anyway, uh, my listeners here can try GoToMeeting for free for 30 days. That's a month of unlimited, 
online meetings for free. For the special offer, you must visit www.gotomeeting.com slash techpodcasts. That's gotomeeting.com slash techpodcasts for a free trial. And that works plural or singular, but uh, it's technically tech podcasts with an S. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'd like to uh, welcome all of the new listeners. Uh, I've noticed a, a little uptick in my statistics here lately. Uh, I think some of that has to do with uh, Ed's Mixed Bag listeners uh, for my banjo tracks segment I'm now doing over at Ed's Mixed Bag. That's www.edsmixedbag.com. <clears throat> anyway, I've been on the last couple of them, and uh, I, I plan on continuing with banjo tracks on Ed's Mixed Bag. And, uh, of course, I continue on this podcast. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a little over a week since I've done one of these. Uh, last weekend, uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday, let's see, uh, Thursday and Friday we got to stay here in Traverse City. Uh, Thursday went out to my mom's house or folks' house to uh, mom and dad's house for a turkey dinner, and that was awesome. It, uh, you know, as usual, uh, good food, good family, good fun. Uh, you know, had a good time, and then dad and I uh, took a couple of plates uh, to a couple of friends that uh, were alone over Thanksgiving. Uh, that's kind of the tradition. We we make up a, a care package and uh, and head out and spend an hour riding around in the truck uh, delivering. So we did that, and then. Uh, Saturday morning, well, actually Friday night, like I said, I went to dinner with a friend of mine who uh, works at the local TV station. And then after dinner, we went down to uh, Harrietta, Michigan. It's uh, a town kind of uh, west of Cadillac, Michigan, uh, maybe a little north. I, I don't know. It, it's, it's out there in the woods. <laughs> but anyway, there's an 1,100-foot tower there with with the uh, local NBC affiliates transmitter, one of their transmitters. They've actually got uh, four sites now uh, with transmitters, or five sites with transmitters, and uh, they're about to go down to, to four sites because they're eliminating one of the transmitter sites actually today. But that's a whole uh, another uh, ball of worms, and uh, if... Uh, my friend John ever gets around to uh, posting the podcast that he's been recording all summer and into the fall uh, about broadcast engineering. You'll hear all about it, but uh, can't promo anything because he hasn't done anything yet. I mean, he's recorded all this stuff and <laughs> hasn't done anything with the recordings, but uh, oh well. He, he's he's long on development and slow on execution. <laughs> And he doesn't listen to this podcast, so I can talk about him. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, f then uh, Friday night, like I said, I went down to that transmitter site, and I got some pictures over on Picasa uh, of the, the the transmitter, big old transmitter the size of a, I don't know, s size of a full-size uh, extended van sitting there uh, doing nothing because it's an analog transmitter. And that was, like I said, on top of the World Trade Center a year before the uh, the terrorist attacks. And uh, apparently, and not for sure, but apparently that transmitter is going to go to some museum in Grand Rapids, Michigan, some broadcast museum. Uh, but uh, I don't know if that'll happen. And then I, I got a couple pictures of the current digital transmitter, which is no bigger than my refrigerator. It's absolutely amazing, but they're actually retiring that transmitter and sending that one to Texas somewhere. And they're putting in yet a, uh, another digital transmitter on a, a different channel because the channel they picked initially isn't working out. That's a long story too. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so... 
the the new transmitter is similarly sized, about the size of my refrigerator, maybe a little bigger, a little more complicated than the refrigerator, but not by much. So anyway, I got some pictures of the uh, transmitter site there up on Picasso. I'll try to link to it in the show notes. Might not be initially there, but uh, check back in a week or so, and I'll, I'll make sure I make that good. Uh, and then Saturday, we went down to Grand Haven, Michigan, uh, where my wife is from. Uh, actually, more appropriately, Spring Lake in Grand Haven. Uh, my niece and her husband... And a two-year-old uh, son lived down there in Spring Lake, and we went and visited with them. Actually, Kathy took uh, my niece and, and the baby and went to the uh, local mall up in Muskegon and got uh, pictures taken for uh, Christmas for the baby, and or the two-year-old, the toddler. And while that was going on, uh, my niece's husband and I worked on their cars and got all the winter maintenance done on the, on the cars. And uh, and later that night we had our uh, holiday meal with uh, my wife's side of the family. Actually, we had Mexican dinner <laughs> instead of uh, turkey because uh, it just seemed seemed better. We went out to a restaurant where my niece works and uh, actually where my wife's first job was, uh, Vic's restaurant there in Spring Lake. And we stayed over at a friend's house in uh, Grand Haven, which is really close to Spring Lake. Had a good time with that. And then uh, Sunday we trucked on home and that was our weekend. So had a good time. I uh, did a review of the droid running the uh, Google Maps navigation software against my TomTom1. Tom That's over at uh, geeknewscentral.com. Uh, I might have to scroll down a couple of posts to see that. It's, uh, it's right underneath uh, Todd's last podcast. But I uh, did, did the uh, comparison uh, with you know Google Maps versus the Tom Tom. I would say it was pretty much a draw. Uh, maybe uh, leaning towards the Tom Tom just for ease of use, but uh, then again, you know, with the Droid, might just uh, become easier as the as the time goes on. I want to play another track here of uh, some friends of the show, uh, actually friends of my radio show. Uh, the Wild Turkeys, you can find them at www.wildturkey, what is it? All right, now now I got to look it up here. Hang on. It is thewildturkeyoutfit.com. Thewildturkeyoutfit.com. I'll have a link in the show notes. But uh, the Wild Turkeys uh Played a couple of times uh, live in the studio uh, on my show, Folk Air, uh, on the terrestrial radio. And then I saw him a couple other times. Saw him out at the Elmira Township Folk Festival uh, live and saw them at uh, one of the bars here in town called the Union Street Station. But uh, anyway, they gave me a couple of CDs too, and they said, yeah, you can play them on your podcast. You know, they're self self-published so uh i'm gonna play one called hayfield crooning and uh it's pretty indicative of of their style i'll tell you a little bit about them when uh when we get done with the song here it says hayfield crooning by the wild turkeys hike your pants up We, the Wild Turkeys, believe that kids these days are wearing their pants far too low. We hike them up. <laughs> now call your cows home.
Just about eight more senses. I sing the high snow fly over the fences now. to Mike on Mike Dell's World, a show about nothing. Yeah, a show about nothing. That's what she says every week. I'm going to have to get her to record something else. <laughs> anyway, that was the uh, Wild Turkeys Hayfield Crooning. And I uh, can't remember what CD that was off of. I, it was either, well, they've got two uh, CDs out. One's called Unplucked and one's called Suspendered. And, uh, you know, they got kind of that uh, goofy bluegrass, old-time sort of sound to them. They're from Sault Sa- Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. Uh, and that's uh, right up there next to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And our little place there on Sugar Island, Michigan, is right between the two Sault Ste. Marie's. So uh, the wild turkeys come from the Canadian side, and the Sugar Island String Band come from the from the uh, Michigan side, more or less. Uh, <laughs> Sugar Island, like I said, is kind of in between. But uh, anyway, I've seen them a couple times in concert. Plus, they've uh, played on my show live uh, on the radio, and a uh, great bunch of guys. A lot younger than you would think. Uh, they're probably uh, just now getting to their 30s, uh, most of them, and, and uh, they're touring quite a bit, actually, around Michigan and Ontario, and I don't know uh, where else they're going. I haven't, haven't uh, really looked, but uh, go check them out over on their website. They've got a lot of cool uh, old-timey, bluegrassy, and, uh, and other stuff, and I'm sure I'll I'll be playing some more of them uh, in the podcast in the future and definitely on the radio show, which you know, have uh, pretty much uh, wore out their CDs on the radio show. <laughs> oh, well, you know, when you like something, you like something. Oh, anyway, I've uh, been working on this huge project, like I mentioned in the Go to Meeting commercial, uh, working on this huge project at my... Uh, day job, I I guess, well, my night job, my normal job, the the 40 hour per week one. And of course, we got two large customers that want basically the same sort of uh, web design project done for them. And it's one of those things, it's uh, e-commerce and uh, web to print. And, you know, it's a pretty uh, involved project. So there's two of us working on it. and, And you know, our deadline is like some sometime mid-January, but 
it's going to be tight, uh, especially with the two of them. Uh, you know, I'm making pretty good progress on one of them, but man, I'll tell you, uh, it's taking up all of my work time or 90% of my work time, which is odd for me to be that busy and productive, <laughs> if I have to admit it. I mean, I'm always productive, uh, but generally not that busy. This is all uh, pretty much hands-on stuff, so it's been nice in, in the fact that I can actually uh, catch up on podcasts that I haven't really been able to catch up on because I'm sitting in one place, you know, even though I got the iPod, uh, you know, not uh, running all over the plant uh, doing this, that, and the other thing like I normally do. And so I'm able to sit there and actually without headphones, uh, plugged into speakers, listen to some podcasts. And, and so that's a good thing. So been catching up on that, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, when I'm done with, with these, uh, two large companies, uh, website development projects, uh, I'm going to be glad to get back to the normal routine for a while. And, uh, I can't really tell you who the project projects are for, but, uh, uh, for some reason I have this craving for chicken. Uh, and when I come home from work, which is not normally what I have. So <laughs> anyway, well, I don't really have a whole lot more. I, I wanted to make sure I got a, a podcast out this week. Uh, I think I sort of skipped last week or or something, I, or maybe not. I, I don't know. It's hard to keep track anymore. Uh, got so, so many things, so many irons in the fire, and, and some of them are getting cold because uh, I haven't, Stoke the fire, <laughs> like Geek of the North. Uh, for some reason, I can't get that one started. Uh, I can I can see what I want to do with it, and you know I'm definitely interested in the topics that it's supposed to cover. But for some reason, I can't. I don't know. Maybe I need some uh, motivation. Uh, anybody got any good ideas how to motivate yourself to uh, get started? Once you know, once I'm started, I'll, I'll probably work on it fairly regular, and you know, like like I've done on other projects. But I'll tell you, uh, sometimes uh, even if it's something you love to do, like I love to podcast, but yeah, sometimes it's hard to stay motivated. I don't know if you guys have that problem if you're podcasters. But, you know, sometimes that just uh, happens with with me. But anyway, uh, I won't uh, bore you with the uh, gory details here. Uh, we're coming up on uh, 29 minutes or 28.30 or 28.41 right now. I think I'll uh, play one more song. Uh, this is a song from uh, a group that I just discovered called the Recephonics, and uh, don't really know what all that means, but uh, check it out. This one's called uh, Mandarin Hornet.
And that was Restaphonics. Yeah, there we go. Can't turn it up too much here. Uh, noticed uh, my audio has been a little harsh the last couple of podcasts. So uh, I'm recording at a little bit lower volume and uh, hopefully during processing it won't won't uh, over overdrive. I don't think it was ever clipping, but uh, anyway. <laughs> too much inside baseball. Uh I got on my uh, Christmas list a, a a piece of DBX equipment that uh, may take care of all of that, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So that was uh, that was the Resophonics uh, Mandarin Hotel or Hotel Hornet. You can't even read uh, actual text, so <laughs> that'll be it for me. Uh, Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, anytime you guys want to leave a voicemail for the show, uh, got the new line. Uh, it's area code 231-715-1366. It's uh, 231-715-1366. Or you can just click the uh, call me button on mikedell.com. And if you click that, uh, it'll ask you for a phone number. It'll call you back and connect you up with the with the voicemail. And uh, that works out pretty slick. That's all uh, Google Voice. And uh, I would offer a Google Voice invite, but uh, I don't believe I have any left. I'm checking right now as we speak. And let's see. I got to see the link. It says invite a friend. But I have no invites left. I do, however, have some Google Wave invites. And Google Wave so far has been one of those things that I just don't quite uh, understand. But if you'd like to uh, check it out, I have some invites left. Uh, go ahead and contact me, uh, mike at mikedell.com, or uh, via voicemail, or... Uh, I guess that'll probably do it. Uh, one of those two methods will work. Uh, Mike at MikeDell.com or go to the website, click uh, the voicemail link, or give me a call at 231-715-1366. So anyway, catch me later, and I will catch you later. I I'm going to try to uh, record a a Geek of the North sometime uh this weekend, so look uh, look out for that over at www.geekofthenorth.com. And like I said, you can find me over at geeknewscentral.com as a contributing blogger. You can find me uh, over at www.mikedell.com as uh, the owner and chief bottle washer. Uh, www.flightradio.com if you are interested in listening to uh, air traffic control and airplanes on your police scanner or over the interwebs on our, uh, our links there. Oh, geez, where else can I be finding? Hey, if you're a ham radio operator, you can look at my ham radio page at n7lmj.com. That's November 7 LMJ, which stands for Loud Mouth Jerk. <laughs> Not really. But that's the call sign the FCC gave me. But it's n7lmj.com. Uh, of course, we've got hamradioclass.org at whatsuppodcast.com. Jeez, do I got enough stuff going on here? <laughs> and you wonder why it's hard to get another, yet another podcast going. Actually, I have, I have a, an idea and a domain name for yet another podcast. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be like Leo Laporte and have a whole whole blip of network here, but oh well. Probably won't happen anytime soon. So, all right, now I'm finally out of here and I'm going to play the official I'm out of here uh, tag and uh, I'm gone. Catch me later. That's all, folks.